during these times of tumultuous uncertainties and struggles. The inequalities that plague our societies are deepening and becoming more pronounced than ever before. The have-nots are more vulnerable and suffering in greater severity, whilst the haves are more protectionistic than ever of what they have. The poor and marginalised have less access to decent work and livelihoods, whilst the rich are able to predatorily and indecently acquire more wealth and assets. The young professionals, the skilled workers, the small business owners and the middling sorts who were previously able to work hard and earn just enough to live a comfortable and dignified life are now either exposed to or have been handed sentences of relegation to the struggling class of underemployment, unemployment and indecent work. The viciousness of the neoliberal nature of our societies is winning. The elements that reinforces the inequalities and inequitabilities in the societies are reigning supreme and the ugliness of the powerful reaching for and gaining more at the expenses of those suffering to make ends meet is being normalised and even glorified. During these times of crises, we need more unity amongst all classes, races and ages than more differentiation, segregation and separation. We need more democracy, power to the people, rather than more cacistocratic kleptocracy, power held by an unbefitting class of self-serving, power-hungry wealth seekers. We need more freedom to work, to thrive, and to build a nation and a world together, and more freedom from oppression and suppression, and not more oppression to suppress the unification of our people, the people of the world, and the freedom of our people to reach for the stars. We need more justice, to ensure those who abuse power are judged and stripped of their privileges to lead and those struggling in their pursuit for survival are not made punitive examples examples of to strike fear unto others of the same plight to those who have not been caught in this crossfire and are able to continue marching ahead and forward in this healthcare and economic war that time has waged against us as a people we need you to come to the rescue of those fallen in this no man's land. We need more solidarity where those who are unperturbed in standing tall can bend over to lend a hand to those who have fallen. On this Labour Day, the spirit of celebration for the achievements of the workers' movement and the victory of workers in our struggle to gain equal recognition in the economy and society, we must unite. Workers of the world must unite more so than ever in the face of the looming threats. But the values of freedom, justice, democracy and solidarity must form the basis and foundations of our continued struggle. As long as these values are neither coerced or forced upon us, but rather organically nurtured. As our fight, our fight, it's not one that seeks to exclude or banish any one or any group, but a fight to unite all in a common fight against the common threat that is this global pandemic. The eight hour day, working day, is still intact, but there is no room for respite in, this, in the face of this global war. Workers of Malaysia, workers of the world, all people of Malaysia and the world on this Labour Day, Unite we must. Happy Labor Day.